do you want to sit down so you're comfy? You might be there for a while, depending on how good I do this. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to a new series for my channel. A bit of a behind the scenes look with my in the wardrobe vlog. So today I'm going to do a bit of a closet declutter and reorganise of this big old mess I've got going on. And I'm going to be sharing with you my blazer collection for autumn 2023. The ones I'm keeping in my wardrobe, the ones that definitely need to go on vintage, and some of the best and worst ones I've bought over the last couple of years and why. So let's dive straight in. This is definitely staying in my wardrobe for autumn 2023 because I love it. Uh, this is my boucle or boucle style jacket that I got recently from Mango actually. They seem to be particularly good with this tweed style jacket. Um, they're not, I was going to say they do a really good fake. It's not a really good fake. It's just a really good version of the style um, that they've managed to keep their prices pretty reasonable too. I can't remember off the top of my head how much this one was. Abby, do you know? But I know it's under £100, so it's still pretty good. So this is the blue version of the one that I'm wearing. Um, and although I love it and it's definitely not going anywhere, I think I will uh, put that away for a little while because I think it's a bit more spring-like for me. So let's put that to one side and I get very excited. I have a spare hanger. What can I fill it with? <laughs> Where should we put hangers? Down there. The black was $79.99. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so $79.99. So that's pretty reasonable, I think, for a nice jacket that's definitely going to see you through autumn, possibly winter too, depending on what you layer underneath it. So here is something I regrettably need to put on Vinted. Although I chose this suit, and obviously for that reason I love the suit, I just haven't found that I'm reaching for it very much, and I can't actually pinpoint what it is about it that is making me not warm to it so much. I love the colour, the tailoring is beautiful, the quality as we know with Reese is always impeccable. It was more on the expensive side of things so I should have got more wear out of it but for whatever reason I just haven't reached for it very much. And um, the trouser portion I think I know, I mean you can see they've even still got the label on there, they were coming up a little bit too big and I should have sized down. I missed the boat sending it back in time, bloody about my own fault. But the blazer does fit perfectly. Abby just noticed actually that there's only one of those blazers is left on Reese's website. Um, I'm just going to try it on to show you. Um, and it's in a size 14, but it is, how much was it, Abby? £160 in the sale. So if you're a size 14 and you like this one, you are in luck. If you are a UK 10 and you like this one. So can you see properly there? It's a lovely fit. It's quite a tailored jacket, probably a bit more tailored than some of my others that I wear that are a little bit more oversized. That's not what's putting me off. I don't know what is. Abby was just saying that it's a little bit more dressed up in terms of the blazer. Um, and although I do like to get dressed up, I think my blazers are often quite casual. So no, unfortunately that one needs to go in the vintage pile and then I can earn some pennies, Ooh, lose the trousers and feel like I can safely reinvest them in some beautiful new clothes that will get some wear from me because I find it kind of tragic um, to have pieces on my rail um, if they're never getting worn. In fact, Kelly was making me laugh the other day. She said, <laughs> she said, I see some of your pieces. You know, I'm very lucky with this job and I have some really nice pieces in my wardrobe. But she said it reminds her of Toy Story as if all of these are the toys going, pick me, pick me. I want to go out. I want to get worn. It's my turn. That is a donate. This one I love. This is quite an old blazer actually three or four years maybe from Everlane and this is made from that really beautiful quite textured feeling tensile so nice and sustainable fabric I love it there's nothing I don't like about it I'm keeping it but it's going to go into the attic until next spring because it is quite lightweight so let's put that one we need separate piles going on don't we this one actually I really would appreciate everybody's opinion on I'm kind of undecided now I bought this a few years ago um I think I got it at Bista Village from the Couples. So a really nice brand and a brand that I do actually really, really like their collections. A little bit pricey, um, hence me buying it at Bista. But I loved the style and I thought it was something a little bit different. It's cropped, it's got a bit of a military vibe to it, and yet it's still quite feminine. It's got these gold trims that I thought was quite subtle. However, a little bit like the blazer that I've got from Reese, there's something about it that it's either not working for right now or it's just not working at all. So let me show you you see what you think is it black or is it navy 
it's black. I mean, I am this season more than the last few years wearing more black. So that is my hesitation that maybe I should hold on to it because I am reaching for a bit of black recently. And you know, that lovely long satin skirt that I've got, I'm kind of thinking, would that look nice? And I've got those black tailored trousers um, that I really love. If we were thinking in Toy Story vibes, I think if ever there was a season, this one's going to get some wear. Maybe it is this awesome winter. You're white. Oh, it's the end of the stories ones. Oh, good thinking. Okay, a mock-up outfit here. That is nice, actually. Has that got gold in the buttons? Yes, yeah, so the gold trim kind of matches the buttons. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments below. So based on that and the fact that I've added quite a few black pieces into my wardrobe for this autumn winter, I think it's probably worth giving it another six months and seeing how much I wear it. If I get to January next year and I've not worn it at least 10 times, I'll, I'll think about sticking it on vintage. But don't hold me to that if I change my mind. This is one that came from the supermarket. This is from Florence and Fred, who I think are actually brilliant, always worth a look in there. And I was doing a jeans advert for them over on Instagram. They've got some great pairs of jeans actually. Obviously very affordable, definitely worth a peek in store. I didn't choose the blazer, they did just send me the blazer to go with the outfits. And although I think if this is your budget to buy a blazer, I thought it was a good option. It probably doesn't really need a space in my wardrobe because I have just invested in a new black one. So let's put that in a donate pile, please Abby. Thank you. Do you need a black blazer? <laughs> I'm gonna take this blazer off because I'm worried it's gonna keep hitting that microphone and drive you all potty. So we've saved two, we're doing well. We've got a good pile of things that need to go. This is one I got, I think it was last winter, possibly the winter before. It's from a brand called Marcella London, which I think lots of you will know. It comes with a tie belt, which I have never styled with it, although I wouldn't say never. Uh, I think that could work. I haven't really reached for it a lot, but then it is quite a heavy wool, so it's definitely more of a winter one. I do like it, I do. Nice and light tone, perhaps a nice way actually, because it's quite oversized, it'd be a good piece to do for the quiet luxury trend, but bringing it back into my own personal style and being slightly oversized. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I tend to wear them just rolled up a little bit. And then if I pair a jumper underneath, I quite like to see that coming down my wrists. In fact, just generally when I'm wearing my blazers, I do like to see a trim of the fabric that I'm wearing underneath. So you see a little trim of color or just a different texture. So I tend to pull them down as far as they will actually go and do a little bit of a turn up on the actual blazer itself. That one is slightly longer than your other ones as well. It is actually, yeah. And that would be quite a nice point of difference to the other ones I've got. And I think I might try out Hello, try out. I'm not, I'm not from Somerset. I might try out with the tie belt and see how that looks because obviously that was the original intention of the design and I never really styled it like that. This is part of another suit that I bought from Sazam. This is probably my least worn blazer that I've had from Cezanne. I don't think it's actually down to the print, which I know is stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit as I normally go with planes and lots of neutrals. I actually really like the check. I think what it is for me and why I don't seem to be reaching for it very much is because of the fabric. Unusually for Cezanne, this is made from wool and it's actually quite itchy. See, I can wear the, where's the, Mia cardigan and back. I can wear this cardigan from Cezanne, which is made from, I think it's a blend of mohair and alpaca and not be irritated in the slightest. But for some reason, they must have used a different fabric composition, different yarn. This actually really itches me and my eczema's pretty bad at the minute. I'm just not going to be reaching for it. And it does seem a complete waste considering as well, I've got a really beautiful pair of trousers to match. So effectively you have got a suit there. So although I love it and I think shape wise, it's really, really nice and I actually like having a print in my wardrobe. Unfortunately, fabric composition wise, it's letting it down for me personally. But then on the flip side of the check blazer, this is a beautiful wool blazer that I equally got from Cezanne. This one is in that gorgeous deep bottle green tone and I'm definitely keeping this one in my wardrobe. I think it's gorgeous for awesome winter, really beautiful tone, something a little bit different for me, having that pop of color in my wardrobe, sat against all the neutrals that I seem to love so much. And again, I don't know where they are, 
are but I do have the trousers to match that as well so that definitely deserves a spot in my autumn 2023 wardrobe sorry we were just saying as well that the color trends for this autumn winter was we saw loads of saffron red but the other one which I'd forgotten about was the lime green so I'm not exactly ticking a trend box there with that one but I don't really care <laughs> I like it anyway so next up on my rail a classic bestseller at navy blazer which if you've been following me for a while you'll have seen me wear again and again and again the reason I like this one particularly is because the shape is quite different from the other ones I've got it's a little more boxy and it's a little bit longer and fabric wise it's a little bit heavier plus of course on top of that you've got the gold buttons which I think is a nice detail it catches the eye it kind of dresses up an outfit certainly when you're wearing it with something quite chilled like my my jeans and a tank top it feels very tailored it makes me feel elevated and polished when I wear it and proof is in the pudding really because I could style that with virtually all my different jeans my trousers and even a couple of skirts that I've got in my wardrobe so cost per wear must be next to nothing by now. Now this is one that was hiding in the attic and I've only just remembered to bring it back down from last winter. This is a herringbone wool blazer that I got from Everlane and I love it. I think I got very very lucky. I think it was one of the first times I worked with Everlane. Wasn't really sure on their sizing and I went for a two. Not really knowing am I a two or am I a four or a six. I did find the sizing a little bit confusing. Anyway I went for the two and the fit is just really really nice. You know when a blazer just fits you perfectly and it kind of slouches in all the right places that's how I feel in this one but then a bit more dressed up and a bit more elevated because of that herringbone wool I've got my waffle out of the way now let me show you what it looks like on I am a little bit conscious of that microphone but look I think just adding that over the top all I'm wearing is a tank and a pair of jeans and suddenly I feel a lot more put together it feels very elegant but it feels on trend at the same time I don't think it's ever going to date I don't think I'll ever need to put it on vintage or donate it I think it's just one of those fail safe blazers that I know I can mix and match with and be a bit of a go-to that always makes me feel nice what are we on now this is one I'm going to stick on vintage a little bit like some of the others that I'm putting up I, I do really like it but um, as you can see it's still got the label on I did actually wear that out with the label inside it's made from Ecovero which is a really sustainable fabric it was a super affordable one in the first place um, and I do like it and I have got some trousers that go with it but it's not something I've obviously reached for enough because although I wore it once with that label attached I haven't reached for it enough over spring summer to justify a space on my rail and unfortunately I hate myself for saying it but I think I am actually going to pop this one on vintage too this is a beautiful little tweed style boucle jacket and actually the brand use um, recycled fabrics for their even with their tweeds so really nice and sustainable too but the mistake I made um, really it was my fault is ordering it in a 38 it was a little bit big I took the label off anyway time passed and then I thought oh, kind of wish I had gone a size down with that one for only for that reason I'm going to stick it on vintage because I'm just not wearing it enough it's just a little bit too big but if you look well, I'll have to zoom in afterwards but there's a really really lovely texture to the fabric you've got this little mixture of brown and golds and a little bit of cream in there with the tone those beautiful buttons that go down the front here and then obviously the two pockets I think it's a really beautiful piece I'm just kind of annoyed with myself more than anything for not going a size down and being able to wear it more similar vibe with this one actually this is from a brand called Tallulah and Hope I don't know if you remember those beautiful dresses that I've had from there where they their sort of speciality is to do that beautiful embroidery over the top of silks and I've got that kimono style dress that's got like a rainbow over the back and embroidery really really beautiful anyway this was an item from a new collection of theirs that came with matching trousers and I loved the idea of it I think the reality is I loved how they'd shot it with the model in the shoot it looked amazing but in my everyday life it just didn't work very well I'll show you quickly what it looks like on but I, I did a bit of a magpie choose on that one and it's probably not really my style although I love the color and the fabric what do you think it's just I do think it's lovely and it's beautifully made and I love the brand but I'm just not getting enough wear out of it to justify a space in my autumn winter wardrobe although I do feel very sad about it. It's not going out enough to wear it. <laughs> yeah yeah I need to go out more <laughs> rather than make my clothes sad and keep asking to be picked and worn 
<laughs> like some Toy Story character, I'm going to donate or I'm going to sell to somebody else who can just give them a new lease of life in their own wardrobes. Talking of which, this is another piece that I'm actually going to donate. It's rather creased, as you can see. Uh, this is a sort of mint what do we say that's mint or sage green again quite an oversized fit and a nice little point of difference with this one is as i like to do roll the sleeves back the lining underneath is actually quite shiny so it makes a nice point of difference um, and adds a different element to this particular look it is more of a spring summer blazer anyway but i have to say i didn't really wear it enough to warrant a space in my yearly wardrobe um, and certainly not for autumn winter either for me so let's put that in donate definitely keeping my new black blazer I'm really pleased with that and actually I'm pleased that I sort of second guessed myself about the original one that I bought from H&M because although that was a great version I know and love this style so very much so in terms of thinking of those forever pieces which is what I'm trying to do with my own wardrobe collate all those pieces that I'm hopefully going to be reaching for in 20 years time this would definitely be it it's timeless it's very classic it's elevated and it's beautifully made what more could we want than that and in fact all the same points as before with my camel one. That one is never going anywhere. Don't let me ever give that one away because I love it. Um, this was a bit of a... Oh, I went really high voice there. This was a bit of a random purchase that I did from La Redoute, I think, who coincidentally I was looking at the other day for homewares. If you've never looked at their homeware collections, specifically, I think it's called AMPM. I don't know if that's their own brand, but anyway, they've got a really nice homeware selection. But I bought this from them and it's that Prince of Wales check. As you know, I don't really wear print very often. And a Prince of Wales check is quite an intricate looking one. I just didn't find that it mixed and matched so well as the other blazers that I'm keeping. Um, so for that reason, I am going to donate. If we're being picky, it's not a blazer. However, it is a cropped coat. So do forgive me and let me get away with that one. It is a really gorgeous wool and cashmere blend jacket. As you can just about see, it's sitting sort of about mid thigh. So a different shape and length to some of the others that I have. It's a really gorgeous fabric composition. Love the color. And as you know, I can never resist a beautiful camera shade so that one is definitely staying in my wardrobe but we can get rid of these hideous hangers now and stick it on a on a wooden one i used to have this rule with myself that once i got onto the hideous hangers you knew it was time for a, a declutter of my closet but that's kind of gone out the window recently so this blazer is another one that i'm i say unfortunately because i think it is the most stunning top color ever i just absolutely adore it which is why i bought it however it was quite pricey and in terms of cost per wear it's it's just not getting there i've not reached for it enough um, it is a little bit more tailored than some of my oversized, slightly boxy looking blazers. That might be your cup of tea, which is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not not on trend. It's just that I seem to be preferring a different kind of shape at the moment. So for that reason, I will be sadly saying goodbye to this one. Now, I know we're not exactly talking jackets, but we're loosely following that theme today. This is one I got from a lovely brand. They're called Ronan Chen. If you want to check them out, I shall add a link in the description box below. But I did get a a really really nice jacket from them um, as part of that ad that I'm keeping but this one with the zip I don't seem to be reaching for quite as much so if I had to choose between the two and I need some space in my wardrobe it's that one that will be unvinted. Creature of habit I know but my navy blazer is definitely going to stay on my rail. I use those probably all year round really I mean I would use them in summer if it wasn't too hot which it definitely wasn't this year was it um, but yeah absolutely in autumn and even in winter I'll often wear a blazer and then I'll layer a nice big overcoat over the top just so I can have that extra layer in there. And that is my new terracotta one, which I equally love. Uh, I think that colour is just beautiful. How nice is that colour? Now, if you're wondering what to pair this one with, I would literally go as simple as the outfit that I'm wearing, um, at a white t-shirt or a white tank top or maybe even a roll neck with a pair of jeans. That's definitely a way that I've been styling it already. But another really nice idea would be pairing it with that deep bottle green underneath how beautiful do those two tones look together i think that's absolutely gorgeous and even thinking of my sofa combination not with the bottle green at the same time i'll just give that to you abby but with grays as well i think that does work 
that's almost my sofa vibe. What do you think? <laughs> do let me know. So then we are, last but not least, onto my red boucle jacket. This one came from River Island, which you might have seen in a haul I did with them, talking all about their new jeans collection, actually, uh, from a couple of weeks ago. If you've not seen that one, I shall link it in the description box below. But this is a jacket that I thought would be really nice to style with those jeans. And actually, that's probably how I would style it most. I really like red against blue jeans. I think that works particularly nicely. The only item I probably would really swerve against red and this is just personal taste would be black jeans I find that color contrast too harsh it's not really my cup of tea I much prefer anything quite red sat against blue jeans I think that's a little bit softer it's a bit more my kind of style now they only had this available this is me all over but they only had this available in a 14 so I thought oh that's okay I can make that work I like oversized and it was a little bit big and it had big shoulder pads in it so what I did was slightly roughly took out the shoulder pads and hope Hopefully you agree when you see it on. It's making it a really nice oversized fit that I would buy if I saw it in store like that. The sleeves are a teeny tiny bit long, but I often push them up anyway. And that is the overall effect, which I really like. It's really affordable. I really like the quality and the color, of course, is one of the big fashion trends. So it's nice that I finally found a way that I could interpret that trend, but still staying very much true to my own personal style. Okay, I think I have waffled for England. Hopefully I haven't bored you to tears and you enjoyed this video, taking a look at my blazer collection from in my wardrobe and a bit of a vlog style chit chat while we do it. And and that is pretty much it. My closet declutter, of my blazers at least, is complete. I feel like I've got a lot more space there. I've certainly got a few hangers that have been put to one side, so it's feeling a little bit calmer and more organized. Now I just have to work on everything else, but that's for another video. Obviously having this job, I do tend to have quite a good selection. I definitely don't think you need to have this many blazers in your own wardrobe, but this for me is a really good staple selection um, that I know I can reach for and I can mix and match and they will work with lots of the trousers and the skirts I already have. So that's a great little capsule for me all in itself. So I really hope you've enjoyed this closet declutter and taking a look at my blazer collection for autumn 2023. And do let me know what you think to this in the wardrobe vlog style video. Is this something you enjoy? It's a little bit more chit chatty obviously and perhaps a little bit messy, but it's nice to be able to give you a bit more of a behind the scenes look, having a bit of a mooch through my wardrobe and just talking you through some of the pieces I've bought and why I bought them or why I might be now sticking them on Vinted or donating them to my lovely friends. Right, I'm gonna stop talking, I am. I'm gonna go have a cup of tea. Have a wonderful rest of the week everyone and looking forward to hearing from you in the comments below and I shall see you hopefully on Sunday. Take care.